Hello everybody, today I'll be showing you how I clean my white horses. My top comment on most of my videos is usually how do I keep them so clean and most of the time they actually do stay quite white but when they are dirty I'll show you how I do clean them. Rain is literally the worst thing that can ever happen to somebody who owns a grey. This is because it brings wet mud and whenever there's wet mud your grey will just want to roll in it. And here you can see Casper is absolutely filthy, he's covered in mud. Most of the time if it rains I like to put a rug on him straight away just to sort of keep him dry even in the summer. Just like a really light one that's got no fill in. And just because it keeps him dry and also prevents him from getting dirty. So here you can see that I'm just using like a brush to try and brush it and when there's wet mud, brushing does not work at all, it just spreads the mud even more. Water is the only way you can get rid of the wet mud, so I just use a hose pipe, you can use a bucket of water but it does take a bit longer. Casper's really good with the hose pipe because obviously I've had to wash him many times before. I always start with a very low pressure just so he gets used to the water and then I increase the pressure very gradually and then I just wash off all the mud. Here I'm just using a metal sweat scraper, it works so so well and it just gets off all the water really really quickly. about an hour later and he was completely clean, completely dry, I didn't use any soap and he wasn't dusty at all. I find dry mud the easiest to clean out of all of them, however when there is dry mud there's going to be dust which can be difficult to get rid of. Here you can see Casper was very dirty, that he did have fly spray on so excuse the flies and just lots of dust all over his back where he'd been rolling. To get rid of the mud I like to use a curry comb or even a magic brush or a jelly scrubber or anything along those lines and I just rub and use a bit of elbow grease and just rub it into the dirt in circular motions and then just flick it off and it gets rid of the mud so easily, so quickly and it's gone within seconds. Then at the end I like to use a dandy brush or a stiff brush just to flick off any remaining dirt or dust. And then he's clean. At this time of year in the summer grass stains are very very common. Here I have a little bottle of stain remover. I did put this in this bottle just because the refills are cheaper. A very common place is on Casper's hocks. Here I'm just spraying the stain remover onto his hocks where it's all dirty, leaving it to soak for a little bit and then I'll get my brush. I actually have a dedicated brush which I just use for getting rid of stains and then I just brush it in and the soap just sort of lifts up all the stains and removes them and then they have magically disappeared. Stable stains are the absolute worst. You can't brush them out, you can't just wash them with water, you have to use soap. I'm just using the Gallup Blue Shampoo, I find that works best for me and it has never failed to remove a stain. 
Here you can see Mickey has a massive poo stain on his butt cheek where he's been lying down. We really don't keep our horses in stables very often, it's only to prevent medical conditions such as mud fever or even laminitis when they eat too much fresh grass. Here I'm using a sponge to rub in the warm soapy water into Mickey's stain and he gets rid of it so quickly, so easily and it's just gone. Here Mickey had just a little stain on his neck, I just sprayed some of the stain remover onto my sponge or brush and then quickly just wipe it off and then it's gone. In the winter, if your horse does get muddy legs or mud fever, the best thing you can use is vegetable oil or baby oil. I keep mine in the spray bottle just because it's easier to apply to his legs and I just spray it on and then I rub it in and this just produces a barrier in between his legs and the mud which prevents the mud from sticking and makes it wash off a lot easier. Here we actually have a horse shower, which is a portable shower which can be heated, so I use it a lot in the winter because I don't like to use cold water with them when it's really cold outside. And another good thing to use is actually talcum powder if your horse is yellow stained and it also helps dry their legs if they are wet. I hope this video has helped you if you do have a white horse or if you don't you may feel a bit more sympathetic towards us as they are a lot of work. However, I've always been used to it now so I've learned a lot of tricks and tips over the way. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!